Okay, so today I'm going to show you a formula using cheap soap to make it to work uh, a little bit better. Um, and all you need is just white vinegar. That's it. Now, white vinegar is pretty cheap. And you need about, I would say, 10% um, of that. Um, the mixes would look something like this right here. That's what it will look like. Sorry. If I didn't. And it will loosen up a little bit. Okay. Just remember that. Um, but it will work. Uh, you see a little less suds. But it will also work as well too. Okay. Um, and all you need is just like a measuring cup. And just take out 10% from here. I have already taken ahead of time already to save the video on this. And you just pour that vinegar straight towards it. That's it. That's the quickest way I can probably uh, uh, show you. And quickest way to easy how to to do it. And it's it would help you with your um, the smell. If you don't like certain things... Okay, let me poke that up a little bit. If you don't like certain smells, like grease smell, chicken smell, or pork smell after it's been cooked or whatever, oh my, you're going you're gonna to love this formula. Let me tell you that. Um, I have been testing it around, and I'll show it to you. I also have other formula too, okay? I'll link it on to this video here, okay? I have the grease formula and I also have the extra bubbles formula too. So now you just have to shake that up. This is a different color because it's, um, I have this in, um, this is grapefruit. But this is the cheap store brand. And that's it. Put a sticker on that so you know it's, it's, it's vinegar, okay? I'll show you really quick my three formulas. This is one with the borax. This is the with the vinegar and this one just regular. These happen just to be different color because I, I bought another type. Um, it's this type right here, the purple ones. So I think I had that purple and, and, and vinegar in that one. So it's, I think it's the purple one. I'm not sure on that one. but So that's how that works. Um, I use this for grease, I use this for the smells, and I use this for regular. And I have the regular version too. This is just regular with extra bubbles. So if you want to make extra bubbles, you can follow one of the video here. I'll, I'll do all of them separately because it's best to do them all separately so that way it doesn't get confused. Um, but that's it. That's how easy and quick it is uh, to make these, uh, to make it work better for you. And yes, I use them, and I have a cleaning video. Uh, I have a cleaning uh, clip video too. I'll, I'll I'll add it on to here afterward. Okay. Okay. So here's part of the wash test, not wash test, but wash that I do with um, my um, vinegar and soap, and you see how liquidy it is. That's the only thing I don't like about it, but I'll show you what it does. I'll show you just a few so you can see. Okay, because I did some of these earlier right here. Just to speed up the video. And I left three things specifically because you know, as everybody knows, plastics and oil, they do not mix. We all know that one. Just a little bit, and then add your vinegar to it, and just wash. Oh, and also too, it takes the smell away. So for people who use chicken, some people don't like the beef smell. Uh, for instance, like the beef smell for the um, um, uh barbecue some people can't stand that that smell after barbecue 
uh, that would be a nice thing too to have with this right here um, it's because it takes the smell away but anyway so that's two benefits right there not only it cleans better let's see you hear that it's a lot squeaker like the squeak is unbelievable I think out of all that I have done I mean they all do different things you have to remember each individual um, things and that's why I did three three type of soap each individual Mm -hmm. that's what vinegar does and it's unbelievable it grabs unbelievable mm -hmm. um that's why I did three separate things as you can see right here if you see my other videos I'll link them all to here but I have them in um uh just bubble bath and regular soap the bubble bath have the agent that it's like similar to dawn oh i said i said a bad thing d-a-w-n then i have one that i made with vinegar that's what this video is and i also have one with with borax too borax actually cleans similar to to vinegar the only difference to that is that somehow it actually cleans better with glass yeah and it does take odor away as well too but i find vinegar takes certain odor away and then i take uh, borax do take certain things away so you literally you need three if one doesn't work then you know which one and then you know which one to use with but this video is about is about vinegar the one with the vinegar and that's what and this is the to wash test for that and yes it works really awesome the only thing though the pH balance is really low but you may want if you don't like that you might want to do a little bit less like instead of me like I did the the 10 ounce because that's what I like you can do five ounces of, of, of vinegar do you know what I mean? That would help. So it's all depend on you, but I usually just mix this 10% of it. So I don't change the chemical too much. 10% um, will, will, will bring either up or down the pH balance. Um, like I can spill oil right here because I probably left it down there. So, I'm just going to wipe right over because that's the thing there. Now, let's see. And now it's gone. No more. So, it's, it's great for oil, but at the same time, it's good for smell too. Anyway, um, I'll stop it here because I don't want to get too long in the video. Uh, I hope that this wash test will be useful to you. And, um... I'll link all of the videos at the end here, whichever it is. But like I said, I do three. I have to do three. Borax, vinegar, and without. Those are just regular stuff that I want to wash or whatever. Oh, vinegar is actually really good for your hand. I find it actually soft in your hand. Huh. Right? Funny, right? But it does. Um, somehow vinegar actually better. If you add vinegar to this soap, it's actually better for cleaning your hands. Because it does come out softer somehow. I don't know. Weird, but hey, I'll take it. Right? Anyway, other than that, that's about it on the video. And I hope this video was helpful to you. Um, and like I said, it's, it's a pretty cheap way to do things. In look, see? I got a new one coming. I got to prepare my next one. But anyway... Um, all I got all those from the dollar store and it's only a dollar this last me oh in case anybody wants to know I bought five dollar worth 
and it's been three months almost three months and i have not used any recently the only thing is i had add that is right here extra because i had another bottle that i i store so i just add that in extra but i didn't really five dollars it lasts me three months so far um and a lot of washing but anyway i will see you in the next video okay